Hey everyone, I have two words for you. Earworms. No, not the Star Trek II Wrath of Khan earworms, the musical kind. Not that the Wrath of Khan earworms didn't appreciate a good Klingon opera every now and then. Otherwise known as musical imagery repetition, involuntary musical imagery, or the highly unimaginative stuck song syndrome. No matter what you call it, sometimes a song just gets stuck in your head, and we call that an earworm. The earworm comes from the German Ohrwurm, which, according to some researchers, was a term first used in the 1980s. Research done by Professor James Kalaris at the University of Cincinnati showed that 98% of individuals experience earworms, and his research suggested that songs with lyrics tend to cause more earworms than instrumental music. Unless you are part of the privileged 2% of the population that doesn't experience earworms, once a song gets firmly planted in your head, what should you do to get it out? Hum a few bars of an equally catchy tune, hoping that the new tune will counteract the one stuck in your head? Solve a crossword puzzle? Or just blame the person who got the song stuck in your head in the first place? You are a bad friend, and you should feel bad! Dr. Ira Hyman of Western Washington University found that solving simple anagrams or reading a novel could help prevent earworms from taking hold. Reading a novel, solving anagrams. But the research also showed that the puzzle should not be too difficult or else the effects would be diminished. Five letter anagrams tended to yield the best results. What do you think? What is the best way to get rid of earworms? And why do we get earworms in the first place? Leave your answers in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep practicing.